Good evening, you too. Welcome back to the channel. Back tonight with my main man, Mando, as always. Hey, everybody. Special guest in the house, General Grievous. General Grievous in the house. Hello. Okay, so I had to assemble my crew tonight because I had to do some heavy lifting. As you can see behind us, we got something very special. Very special in the Star Wars universe. My man Mando, tell us what we got here. We have the Star Wars Return of the Je Jedi, Job the Hut, Sail Barge, the Name the Katana. Name the Katana. Very, very, very good. Okay, so General Grievous, you actually never seen Return of the Jedi, correct? Yes. Okay, so we haven't had time to watch the whole movie. But I did take you down and put it on the big screen and showed you the scene with, with the Job of the Sail Barge tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us what you saw and tell us what you thought about the scene. So, what I saw was. Jabba was instructing all the bad goon guys to push Luke into the pit of pit of Starlight. Starlight. Okay, so basically, the <laughs> he was instructing his goons to shove Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, into the pit of Starlight. Did not work out for him, right? No. Did not. Okay, so uh, that was his introduction, and this is going to be a, the introduction to the review. So, starting with the packaging, man, this is probably the biggest box I've ever seen in the toy, the toy kingdom. Man, uh, going go to any toy line, man, I, I just don't see, I, don't, I just, I can't remember in history, in, in, my, in my memory, uh, a, a box this big. So, this was a HasLab funded project, meaning you had to pay up front for this thing, and uh, they, they showed you what it was going to be. They, they would always have like a 3D render, maybe, maybe one uh, prototype. And, uh, and you had to pay up front, and then once it reached a certain goal, it went into production. So this was one of the original ones, one of the more successful ones, one of the more rare ones. Uh, this one does not belong to me. It's actually on loan to me from a very good friend of mine, Tyler. Tyler, I appreciate you very much. Uh, he's gonna loan this to me so I, I can do this review because uh, these things, are they're very hard to come by. I'm still trying to find one. Uh, at a decent price, and uh, I just I just can't get one right now. So uh, definitely want to do the review. The skiff is mine, and uh, I got that. So it's a two for one tonight, uh, guys, because uh, it, it all goes together. So with that said, let's go ahead and get this box down. My man Mando, grab, grab that side for me, please. Let's step this off to the side. Back that down. All right. Come on around. Okay. So here here it is, guys. Uh, let's get a shot of the skiff first. Okay, so this is this is a skiff that brings the got the whole crew out, and uh, where Luke famously jumps off the uh, the the plank there and uh, jumps back on force jumps his way back to the barge and cleans house. So uh, this is this is the crew about as about as accurate as I could get it with what I got in in, in my collection, and uh, it, it's pretty pretty accurate to the scene. So uh, the the skiff is uh, filled with details. It's actually got. A couple of little features, a couple of little hidden compartments. You can open that up and get the details inside here. A lot of, lot, lot of molding, a lot of weathering on the outside. I wish they'd have done the weathering on the inside because it's filled with details. But uh, re really good, really good uh, uh, representation of, of the skiff. And uh, there's actually another panel over here where Han is standing. Actually, let's go ahead and remove that. Let's get these guys out of the way, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You just pop this thing out right there, and you can see there's this. Uh, they actually did paint this. If you can get get a shot of that, uh, the, the the just 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 wires and details they, they didn't have to do. Uh, same thing with the uh, the controls uh, over here where the pilot is. It's it's actually pretty good too. So. Uh, really, really good uh, complimentary uh, set to the, what we came here for. And there it is, guys, the katana. And this thing is probably about four feet long, man, from front to back, and it's just riddled with detail. So e e even, I mean, to the point where the, the, these windows, they open, they're, they're shutters, they're, they open and shut. I mean, you, it's, just, it's just crazy. So uh, starting with the top, I want you to get a good shot of these sails because these sails are not plastic. They are cloth. And uh, both of them are just uh, set up with with the cloth. And let me get this off where you show you the underneath is uh, very accurate to the movie as well. And uh, if you can get a get a close up shot of the wood, the wood grain, it, the, the 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 detailing is just insane. Got the bullhorns, everything there. Uh, and, and when you see the katana go down at, in, in that scene, you could see uh, in, in those shots that the bottom is exactly like this here. So uh, let me get that out of the way. And uh, this one out of the way as well. Okay. And uh, just to show you, they're both uh, the same way. Uh, just, just filled with uh, detail and uh, wash. Okay. Uh, starting with the front. Okay. They're just, just 
you can just see this thing is just weathered and, and it's just been through it. And, and that's the, 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 the name of this thing. It's just absolute fill with detail where, where you get the, you got the powders and stuff where the stuff's been spilled and, and, and you're just going through here and, uh, you know, all kind of compartments. So like these compartments open up and, uh, you can get a shot down there and you see the stat, the, the ladder well, and I'll show you the inside of it in a second, but it's, it's like, they didn't have to go through this amount of detail. This is like complete room on both sides shut down. You can't see it. So once we remove the quarter panels, you're going to see all that detail. So moving along, we got the fat doing his thing, um, uh, meeting his early demise and then subsequent, uh, uh, reincarnation in, in, in the Boba Fett show. So you got the cannons on, 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 on the side here and, and they move around as well. It's, I, I got everything put in very loosely. Like I said, this isn't mine. So uh, I don't, I don't want to break anything. I'll be very, very careful with it. Okay. So another feature here is, uh, you know, these open up and again, there's another ladder well and it goes inside. You're going to see that again. So this cannon is amazing uh detailed as well it looks like it's made of steel and it's it, it's painted so well but it's actually not it's made of plastic but you know very accurate to the movie as well sliding all the way to the front here just more detailing all kind of th detailing just like in uh the movie guys and uh go ahead and back it up i'm going to remove the the front quarter panels now and uh show you the inside of, of, of this thing so um, you've already seen this side. Let me show you this side as well. And this is what I'm talking about. Like they, they didn't have to put this on this side because it's going to be gone. Okay. But they wanted to make it perfect. And you get the, 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 the wood grain detail. It's all there on both sides. So it, it's just really the amount of detail that one of this is just, it's just unparalleled. So, uh, there's five panels all together. So let me get these out of the way. And, uh, and like I said, I didn't have these snapped in tight because, uh, I don't own this and uh, I, I absolutely didn't want to break anything. So let me get these last couple out of the way. This one I already had removed and uh, the front will be the, uh, the cockpit. So get a good shot of everything removed while I get these panels out of the way. Okay guys, come around. I want you guys to see the, 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 the details and stuff. Okay, so starting with the back, we got Jabba's party room, man. Uh, go ahead and check him out, man. Big Jabba's got his bed, and this this will slide back and forth in relation to what you want going on. Uh, I was able to find this figure here. I forget which line it was in, but uh, the the one that's in vintage collection is like three hundred bucks now, guys. And I'm, I wasn't gonna open that thing up, and I don't even have one. But if I did, I absolutely wasn't gonna open it up for the display. Got R two walking around. He was serving up drinks, uh, working for Jabba. Got the infamous Yak face. This is not the, the the rare one. This is just one I just found that I could open up. We got uh, Bib Fortuna. That's his henchman, and the, these are probably the, the the only characters that I had that that fit this scene. But again, uh, try to get a good shot of, of all around inside of this thing. You know, we could try to get some, some, some light in there so you could see this thing is just filled with detail. We got the paintings on the walls. We got, uh, the, the wood grain, uh, details on the floor. We got the, the stanchions holding everything up, you know, and, and you look, you see the hallways. It just keeps wrapping around. I mean, this thing is just an absolute masterpiece of a play set set piece. Okay. So moving on, let's go to the center room here. This would be the armory in the kitchen area. So uh, again, you know, Jabba is just, uh, he, you know, he's gonna eat, you know, Jabba's gonna make sure that he gets, he gets filled up. So let's try to get some, some shots in the back there. You're gonna see the, uh, you know, where, where, where his food's hanging on the wall. You know, Jabba's gonna eat lizards and frogs and things of this nature and eat some to gluttonous proportions. So. You know, he's going to make sure that wherever he's at, he's got a kitchen uh, uh, and, and absolutely making sure that uh, it's going to be fully stocked. So uh, coming up to the front here. OK, we got this jail cell. Uh, these doors, they open and close. Uh, I can't fit my hand in there. And like I said, you got somebody in there. Uh, he's skeleton uh, fossil fossilized remains. Probably been here a few years too long past his sentence date. But uh, here in the kitchen area. There's more details just filled, you know, with the, with the sinks and the cutting boards and, you know, all, all kind of stuff. Just all kind of stuff they didn't really have to do. So very, very amazing uh, uh, set piece here. All right. Now coming to the front here. Going to have the cockpit. Again, uh, this thing is just filled, filled with details. 
Every little panel has got a, uh, a piece of paint on it or some kind of drawing. These aren't stickers, you know. Uh, and you can see how coming around to the front, it just all wraps around and everything connects. Very amazing piece. Okay. Right, a good wide shot now. All right, Mando, turn to Revis. Come on over here. So, Mando, tell me what you think about this. I really like it. It has so much detail that they didn't have to put. What's what's one thing that when, when you saw this, what's what's the one thing that you thought? Why is it so big? Why is it so big? Okay, so very impressed with the size. All right, General Rivas, come on around, watch your feet. Tell me, uh, tell me what, 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 what you think about this what, what, when you first saw it. Whenever I first saw this, I thought this thing would be like the same exact size as my niece but now that i actually see it it's even bigger it's even bigger okay so uh basically these guys are very impressed with the size uh, of the uh of the set piece come around guys come around to the side come around to the back now so uh come on in come on in tight guys again i want to thank everybody for uh spending some time with us tonight and uh going through this review so, uh, General Rebus, go ahead and take us out tonight. May the force be with you. May the